Hi there, Doug Stewin with another one of HP's powerful Z-Series workstations, the Z6G4. This is the second most powerful workstation in HP's Z-Series arsenal, and surprisingly, it only supports less than half as much memory and storage compared to the Z8G4. But don't let that put you off. The Z6G4 is still a beast in its own right and supports up to 384 gigabytes of memory and 22 terabytes of storage. This platform can also be quickly converted from a single socket platform to dual sockets and more memory. Let's take a look. There are actually three new HP desktop workstations. The dual processor Z8G4 we covered a few weeks ago, and you can click that to see our review video. Next, HP's single socket Z4G4, which is HP's best-selling performance workstation, but doesn't support the new scale of processors. And then there's the Z6G4, which sits somewhere between the two and is a standout performer for visual effects, design visualization, and 3D rendering. The Z6G4 workstation supports the same Xeon scalable processors and core count as the most powerful workstation in the world, the Z8G4, and also benefits from native support for M.2 drives, faster memory, more graphics card options, and updated security. More on that later. You can load in anything from the Intel Xeon scalable bronze, silver, gold, or platinum categories, up to 28 cores each, for up to 56 total cores in a two processor configuration. And that includes the top of the line scalable Platinum 8180 with thermal design point of 205 watts. However, you may be a little confused when you see the system board, which has only a single socket and six memory slots. One of the unique features on this platform is a CPU memory module that supports the second processor and six more memory slots for a total of 12 active memory slots with both processors. The module slots into the IO socket like a graphics card right above the PCIe slots. It also has its own heatsink and fan, which is enclosed in a plastic shroud to direct fresh air over the processor and memory modules. The shroud clips into the chassis at both ends to ensure it doesn't come out of its slot, even if you're moving it around the office. Additionally, there is an HP Z6 G4 memory cooling solution that clips in between the power supply and the CPU memory module. With a separate CPU mezzanine, it's easy to switch in the second processor and more memory for programs better suited to dual processors and remove the mezzanine when just a single processor is required. Although, who does that? Wondering what it'll take to get one of these? Well, you came to the right place. For a limited time, you can save up to $250 off the purchase of a system listed at $2,500 or more. Click that link to visit IT Creations and see pricing on the HP Z6 G4. If you're ready to make a purchase, just mention this video to take advantage of this special offer. Let's take a look at that memory. The scalable CPU supports six memory channels per processor. So with the Z6 G4, each memory module has its own memory channel. Memory speeds of up to 2666 megahertz are supported, but must be paired with a compatible processor that supports that speed. The documentation states that the maximum supported memory with two processors is 384 gigabytes, and that's with 32 gigabyte memory modules. During the initial briefing on the G4 Z series platform several months back, they set up to 768 gigabytes, so the first number may change. Keep in mind that Windows 7 will only support up to 192 gigabytes of memory, but you're good to go with Windows 8 and above. You can request Windows 7 when ordering, but why would you want to do that when the system comes with either Windows 10 for workstations or Red Hat Enterprise Linux pre-installed? Security on this system has been updated with HP SureStart 3.0, a self-checking, self-healing BIOS, secure authentication, which uses up to four separate authentication tools, and secure erase. Secure erase does just what its name applies by securely and completely erasing your internal storage devices for retirement or reuse. All USB ports are active by default, but they can also be disabled in BIOS to ensure your data stays on the system and not in the hands of some unscrupulous individual with a USB stick. There's also an optional barrel lock that can be installed on the access panel to protect your internal drives, a padlock loop if that seems insufficient, and a Kensington security slot on the back of the system to run a Kensington cable through to secure to some like column or other immovable object. There are two internal storage bays that can accommodate two SAS or SATA 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch HDDs or SSDs. The storage bays also have acoustic dampening rail assemblies to reduce noise transmission. And regarding noise transmission, this system is very quiet, just like the Z8 G4. Can you hear it? Can you hear it now? The two external media bays can also be converted to support one 2.5 inch or one 3.5 inch drive each. With two internal 3.5 inch, four terabyte HDD drives and both media bays outfitted with the same, the system will support a maximum of 16 terabytes of HDD or SSD storage from those sources. And I qualify that statement because the maximum storage on this system states 22 terabytes, but we haven't even discussed M.2 yet. If you go for SATA drives as your storage device of choice, then you can use the integrated HD controller and the six SATA ports on the motherboard. 
If you go SAS, then you will need a Micro Semi Smart HBA controller card offering RAID support of 0, 1, and 10, or the other card they offer. You have several options for M.2 storage devices. There are two dedicated M.2 slots on the system board that can each accommodate a single M.2 drive at up to one terabyte each. The post to secure the M.2 drives can also be adjusted for drives of different sizes. A single HP quad turbo drive with up to four M.2 drives can also be installed in one of the by 16 PCIe ports. With both M.2s installed on the system board and a single HP quad turbo drive with four M.2 drives, that adds up to six more terabytes of super fast storage. So assuming those six M.2 drives are one terabyte, for six terabytes of M.2, add that to the 16 terabytes of HDD internal storage for a maximum of 22 terabytes of tiered storage. And that still leaves room for a top of the line GPU, but we'll get to that. If you don't need that much storage, the front media base can also be converted to support several other optional features like additional card readers, Thunderbolt ports, or another optical drive. There's already a dedicated slimline optical disk drive right below the front media bays. Management is provided by Intel Active Management Technology that operates out of band to provide you with the tools to gather status, update firmware, and administer the system both on-site and remotely. Preloaded HP Remote Graphics Software, or RGS for acronym lovers, allows you to access, share, and broadcast your workstation apps and creations from any remote PC, Mac, or Windows tablet, which is pretty cool. Only the pixels on the screen are transferred so you get the full capabilities of your workstation. HP PC Hardware Diagnostics, accessed through the BIOS at System Startup, helps you troubleshoot the system and test the main components. There's also the telltales on the front of the system with blinking lights and chirps for additional diagnostic information. Just like the Z8 G4, there are a multitude of ports both front and back. The back of the system has six USB 3.0 ports, a few old school serial ports, and two one gigabit ethernet ports. There's also an optional slot for a dual 10 gig base T module right above the gigantic fan. The 10 gig module is about half the cost of a comparable stand up PCIe card and won't take any of your PCIe slots. The front of the system features a standard IO module with four USB 3.1 G1 Type-A ports, along with headset, mic, and optional media card reader. There's also a premium IO module for the front that will replace two of those USB Type-A ports with two USB 3.1 Type-C ports, or USB-C ports for short. The USB-C ports deliver up to 10 gigabit per second transfer speeds. Of course, you can also use one of those PCIe slots for additional NICs, if necessary. The system comes configured with integrated Realtek HD audio and a standard mouse and keyboard. With two processors installed, there are six active PCIe Gen 3.0 slots and two additional internal by 4 PCIe 3.0 slots dedicated for M.2 storage devices. With just a single processor, you get slots 1, 2, 4, and 5. The second CPU activates slots 3 and 6. The dedicated M.2 slots on the system board can be used to support the OS. You have several options for graphics cards from both NVIDIA and AMD and can install the maximum of two double-wide graphics cards. Depending on your choice of graphics cards and screen resolutions, you can run up to eight displays, including 4K and 5K displays with two full-width GPUs installed. Of course, that will mean sacrificing the M.2 storage drive or at least placing it in a by 8 slot with two M.2 drives instead of four. The Z6 G4 is an excellent platform for high-end graphics, 3D rendering, visualization, and video editing. It may not have all the bells and whistles the Z8 G4 has, but really, who needs all that? Except, perhaps, that guy checking on the molten lava bubble rising beneath New Hampshire, or designing SpaceX B rocket, or BFR for short. I do think the Z6 G4 could handle those, but maybe just slightly slower. Well, that's it for our review of the HP Z6 G4 workstation. You know the drill, like, share, and comment. If you have any questions, we're here for you. And if you're interested in pricing or want more information on this system, I placed a few links in the section below. I'm Doug Stumo with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.